Good morning, people, and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, it will be a little bit different. As you guys know from the thumbnail, we will be working with uh, some carbon fibre. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own carbon fiber skinned table. And uh, hopefully it comes out pretty good. And uh, I have been doing a little couple things here and there on the side and uh, I think they came out really good so I'm going to show you guys how to do it so what we're going to start with and uh I'm going to remind I'm going to remind each and every one of you guys this will not be a one day thing this will be over I'm going to say probably a course of a week uh maybe even longer than that I, I have no idea it, it all depends on uh how busy I get with other things or whatever, but uh, this will be a long drawn out uh, video. So there will be cutscenes here and there. I'm not gonna try to do uh, a lot of talking. I'm just going to show you guys what you need, put it up on the screen, and uh, we're gonna try to go from there. So one of the things that you will need, you will need, obviously, you will need chopped carbon fiber. So I went with this company here, uh, Venom Carbon. So I got there, I think this is, I think this is half inch, half inch strands here. And then uh, I got another set, which is quarter inch. So two different size strands here so that uh, you give that nice effect. So I got a pound of each. Obviously, there's not a pound of each in each one, but you guys get the gist. I do have uh, all of that there. You will need some type of uh, scraper here, you know, like a, a trawl. So uh, for your uh, epoxy, you will need something to kind of mix the two carbon fibres in. So uh, I just got this like, you know, storage container from McCormick. Just know that uh, this will be just for carbon fibre. You will not use this for anything else. So just keep that in mind. Next thing you will need is a bunch of gloves. A bunch of gloves you will need a scale and you will need your epoxy over here so i went with this company here the epoxy resin store so they sell uh this this stuff the epoxy it's a one-to-one -one ratio so super 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 easy uh you can mix this one-to-one -one, not have a problem not needing to use the scale but uh i use the scale and uh everything works out really really good so uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, what else do we need? Oh, you need, uh, this, this is uh peel ply. So this is all the rest of the peel ply that I do have left, uh, from all the projects that I have done. And, uh, I think it'll be enough to do the top of this table. So what we're going to be doing is just the tops of the table and the sides. So I think this should be enough peel ply, uh, to do that. And lastly, this is an optional thing. I got spray adhesive, so you can use something else uh, to make the carbon fiber stick. They do make this black epoxy, so uh, you, you could use that as well. I just chose to use, you know, this uh, spray adhesive. It works really fine. It just makes a uh, bit of a smell. So if you're going to do this, try to do this outside. I'm going to do it inside because uh, the wife's not home. I can open up the windows and I can just do this uh, real quick. So, uh, yeah, I think that's really it. Uh, and you're going to need a roller of some sort. This is a resin roller. And uh, you can find all this stuff, pretty much all of it, on Amazon, to be honest with you. Uh, so all of this stuff will be readily available. But like I said before, this will be the, la the longest parts of me talking on this video. I will set the camera up and... Uh, we will be doing step by step. I will show you exactly how to do this and uh, what to do and what not to do because like th there's going to be a lot of stuff that uh, you can kind of get away with and I have been getting away with doing like some shortcuts but and it, it still comes out really, really fantastic. But uh, enough of me talking. I'm going to get these legs off. I'm going to get it over here and I'm going to start... Uh, sprinkling on the carbon fiber with the spray glue so yeah let's just get it rocking
24 hours later All right, people. So, try not to talk a lot during this video because uh, it's just an instructional kind of video. But you can see, like, I do have grooves here. So, what you want to do is uh, you don't really need to worry about these grooves. So, what I have is self-leveling, uh, self-leveling epoxy. So, uh, all of these lines will disappear as soon as you put your next coat on. So, that's what we're gonna do. I've been at the sanding thing for like probably an hour or so. And uh, I think it's definitely ready to go in for its uh, first of two top coats. So uh, I did go through and do 100 grit, 150, and then 220 on the, uh, on the orbital here. And uh, it came out pretty good. So before you actually put anything up top here you do have to wipe it down with alcohol wipes just because you want to get into all of these grooves that uh that might be an issue that you might see like you know sanding material or something like that but for the most part you know super uh mean green uh you know 
cleaner will be uh, just fine. But uh, yeah, let me clean up all my mess here and I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna continue this video. Three days later. Nani?
days later.